Hello and welcome to What The Math. Today I'm going to do something different. Take a look at a very cool educational game called Counting Kingdom. This is actually a game that's still uh, in early access and it's a game that's going to be coming out later in 2014. But it's a really, really good idea. It's basically... Well, let me show it to you. It's basically um, Plants vs. Zombies mixed with arithmetic. So, just like in Plants vs. Zombies, there's these monsters attacking your castle, and you have these magical spells at your disposal, which are basically like numbers. Um, so, what you have to do here is you have to select monsters and then add them to uh, the number of the spell. So, for example, 3 plus 3 is 6, so you can now cast a spell and destroy these monsters. And your job here is to eliminate these monsters by casting these spells uh, and by trying to combine these monsters to add them into this number. Uh, and you can actually some, have some other... Um, th this game has other features, like so you can actually add these spells together to create a more powerful spell. So this will be a 10. And I can now cast a spell of 10, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so this is 9. Not enough for me, unfortunately. And if you have a number that you don't like, you can change it. And this will give you a different number. And um, this, you also have special potions on top, which will um, add a number to a monster to basically make it a little bit easier to cast a spell. So, for example, I want to cast a spell of 10. So, this is 2, 6, 9. I'm going to make this monster into a 4. So, this will become a 10. Voila. And essentially, this is how this game works. So you have these spells, you have numbers. Uh, it's a really, really awesome, really fun arithmetics game. Uh, definitely improves your uh, mental arithmetic skills. And this is absolutely recommended for uh, elementary students or even early middle school students that are struggling with numbers, struggling with math, because this is actually fun. This is one of the few math games that I've played that is actually super fun. I've been actually playing this for a few hours now myself, and it's it's really, um, really entertaining. Um, you may find this easy if, uh, at first, but if you are actually finding this game too easy, you can go into the menu and you can select this right here. And there's a, there's a free play option right here where, that, where you can increase the difficulty and this will make it a little bit, or actually a lot more challenging. So now, this is how it works. Whenever a monster steps into this square, it doubles its number. So this will become four if it steps here. All of the numbers now are uh, multi-digit, so they're up to, uh, up to 50, I believe. Uh, 50 is the maximum. And you have new spells as well. So this spell, for example, will turn my monster into a zero. Uh, so this is actually really challenging. This is for kids that are really want to challenge themselves, and for even for teachers that want to you know, have fun with math. So for example, let's just do this together. So this is going to be 10, this is going to be 20, this is 22. Uh, can I make a 22 out of this? 23 plus 12 is 35. No, I can't. It, what if I turn one of them into a zero? Uh, I can make a 28, I guess. Let's make a 28. Uh, this is 18. Uh, hmm. So, you, uh, as you can see, this guy just became a 4, so now I have 7, 10. Oh my god, I have so many. This is really difficult, actually. Alright, so let's try this. So, I'm gonna try to use my math skills. As a math teacher, I should be able to do this. Alright, so, this is 9, 14, uh, 17, 24. 24 plus 7 is... I don't even know anymore. 31, 35. Now, minus 7 will give me 28, so if I take the 0 and put it right here... And now combine all of these, I should get 28! Ta-da! Awesome. Full clear, 500 points. And this is how this game works. I personally absolutely love this. There's another spell right here that like, uh, allows you to move the monster. Um, I absolutely love this game. Definitely recommend this for any elementary teacher, any uh, math teacher that has kids that struggle with numbers. Um, and the game is really, really cheap, actually. And it was part of the bundle that I bought with educational games. And this is definitely one of the best ones. Alright, so hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to post the link for this game below. This is called Counting Kingdoms. Uh, lots and lots of levels to progress through. Uh, difficulty increases dramatically as you progress. And uh, hopefully in the future versions, they'll also include multiplication and division because that's that will be even better. So far, right now, it's only addition and subtraction with some multiplication. Um, but even this is absolutely brilliant. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. This has been What the Math, and this is a game called Counting Kingdoms. Do buy this and support this developer because they've actually come up with something that is absolutely fun and mathematical. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and bye bye.